John. Ah. Hello, Father. Tell me, what would you do when someone has stolen from you? That's a loaded question. What's been stolen from you? Institute property is not often taken from us. We cannot react lightly when it happens. The group that calls themselves the Railroad have acquired several synths from the Institute. Synths that had gone missing in recent months. And they no doubt mean to free these synths, in their delusion that synths are somehow... sentient beings. You've been in contact with the Railroad, so you're aware of their misguided beliefs. What happened? What have they done? They are in possession of technology that does not belong to them. Usually they are a minor nuisance, but lately they have become more... emboldened. I'm afraid we've reached the point where a response is necessary. We have learned the current location of these synths, and need to reacquire them before the railroad can hide them. Where are the synths located? A small settlement at the old Bunker Hill Monument. But it's important that we act on this soon, before the railroad has any indication we've tracked them. We also don't want the Brotherhood of Steel getting wind of the presence of the synths. That would only complicate matters. Is it just me, or will I have backup? A Corsa will be waiting for you outside Bunker Hill. You'll have support should you need it. But we want to keep this small. It's not an easy road you've chosen, but you're never alone in this. Can I talk to you? Something on your mind? The Institute knows about Bunker Hill. They're planning to recapture the synths there. The timing couldn't be worse. The old man's been sitting on those four synths. There's nowhere else that's safe we could put them. Maintaining your cover is vital. But this, the sacrifice is just too great. How much damage would it cause if we let them hit us? We're running out of places to hide our synths. That's why we put so many eggs in one crowded basket to begin with. So what would we lose? Four synths, Stockton, some of our best agents, and the inevitable civilian casualties? No, not this time. We've never known when and where the Institute would strike us next. But now we have a chance to turn the tables. We wait until the enemy is in position, then we hit them, hard. No one they send out comes back alive except you. Understand? Won't the Institute be suspicious if I'm the only one left? You're a lot tougher than anyone else in their outfit. If only one person could survive, it would be you. And any story you come up with won't be contradicted. We can't attack too early. We need to draw them into the kill zone, and then spring the trap. You'll know when. You'll probably have a coarser escort. You'll have to take them down. You've done it before, but it'll still be dangerous. Like you said, I've done it before. It's a risk, but it's one we have to take. So get it done. John, you know, in all my years, I've never set foot outside the Institute. Not once. Since the day they brought me here. I've never had a reason. But now, this just confirms the truth I've always known. The Commonwealth is dead. There's no future here. The only hope for humanity lies below. So why come out here? To put things in perspective, I suppose. Standing here... I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. I know that to you I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, the Institute rescued me. Both of us, really. Kellogg called me the backup. Did he? Well, he was correct. I was the perfect candidate. An infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, 
Well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre-war DNA, preferably related to their primary subject. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. So you were kept alive and safe within the vault. I'll admit, when I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all this. To not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. Why let me out now? After all this time? That's... Well, that's hard to explain. Certainly, it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment, of sorts. I had no idea what kind of man you were, you see. Would the Commonwealth corrupt you? As it has everything else. Would you even survive? Perhaps most curious to me. Would you, after all this time, attempt to find me? And now I know the answer. Well, here I am. Was it worth it? I believe so. Soon, I hope. I hope you'll understand. Everything I've done has been for the future. A future which I hope is not in jeopardy after recent events. Bunker Hill did not go well for us. Would you care to explain what happened? We got our asses kicked. Does it matter how? The chances of failing this mission were so astronomically low that yes, it does matter. Bunker Hill was to cement your place as a valuable asset to the Institute. It will now only raise suspicions. And to see the Brotherhood of Steel involved in this? They had no way of knowing what was going on. I will refrain from sharing the outcome with the Directorate for the moment. Things are already in motion that this would only derail. Speaking of which... It's time for you to become more involved in the future of the Institute. I'd like you to join me inside. The Directorate is meeting, and you should be there. I'll be waiting. I've seen enough. It's time to go back in. Father is more than just our leader. He is our creator. Let's get this directorate meeting over with before we speak further. It's... Well, it's important. I think it's time we begin. Sir, excuse me, but what exactly is he doing here? I will address that issue. But there are other subjects that require our attention first. The level of unrest in the Commonwealth continues to rise, as we're all aware. Your report. All Institute facilities remain completely secure, with the exception of one notable breach. Otherwise, internally, things are as tight as they've ever been. Dr. Ao has been keeping an eye on things topside. Yes, um... Uh... Watchers show no additional threats beyond those previously identified. Boston International Airport remains occupied, with Brotherhood presence noted at several other points throughout the Commonwealth. Intelligence suggests that this railroad continues to operate and is becoming more ambitious. SRB agents are monitoring all known situations, sir. Very good, thank you. It's clear that our safety needs to be the primary concern going forward. To that end, where are we on Phase 3? Uh, sir... Are you sure this is the time to be discussing it? Given, well, considering all parties present? 
Ah, yes, that's true. Have you heard anything about Phase 3? What's Phase 3? It's very important to us. Power is, as I'm sure you've seen above ground, a very valuable commodity. I'm not talking about some abstract concept of control. I mean real, tangible power. The kind that keeps the lights on. With every advance the Institute makes, our need for raw power increases. Many compromises and sacrifices have been made over the years to allow progress to continue. What kind of compromises? We have at times had to rely on drawing power from above ground installations. It risks personnel and equipment, but no longer. Phase three is simply the activation of a nuclear reactor that can provide enough power to the Institute now and forever. It will ensure not just our survival, but our prosperity. Tell me more about this reactor? Certainly. It was originally built for the Commonwealth Institute of Technology before the war, but was only for testing. Over the years, we've advanced the technology, made a great many improvements, and are finally nearly ready to activate it. The reactor is close to ready, but recent tests have determined we have a few tasks ahead of us. Thus, we come to phase three, and to how you will help. Sir. Yes, Dr. Ayo. Previously, we would rely on Kellogg for above-ground operations, yes? Well, he is gone. While I'm not overly fond of putting my own father in harm's way, he has proven more than capable of handling himself. Uh, y yes but... This is not a matter for debate. Now, there is one more subject that requires discussion. I don't know that this is the time. Dr. Holdren, it is time. Please, as I'm sure several of you are already aware, I have been under Dr. Volkert's care for some time. I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. Our best efforts have failed. Every experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful. I'm... I'm sorry to say I am dying. What? Please, Can't be serious. everyone, please. I am sorry. This is not how I wanted to tell you, but we're running out of time. You're dying? I'm afraid so. A very aggressive form of cancer. Believe me when I say we've done everything we can. We can talk more later. Right now, the future of the Institute is at stake. The Institute cannot survive without leadership. The Directorate must continue to govern with the best interest of all in mind. To that end, I am naming my father as my successor. Oh, boy. You can't be serious! Really? Seems a poor choice. How can you possibly justify this? He isn't one of us. He isn't even a scientist. Ignoring your borderline, insubordinate tone, I will simply say this. The Institute has enough scientists. What it needs is a leader. I believe my father has already proven himself more than capable in that regard. This will conclude this meeting. Thank you. Cavalry's arrived. And it looks like they sent in the big guns. Why did the Brotherhood send it here? We call our ship, the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. Who's Elder Maxon? He's a dangerous man, that's what he is. Maxon is the commander of this division of the Brotherhood of Steel. He's the model of what every Brotherhood soldier hopes to become. If we're going to war, I can promise you that he'll be leading the charge. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. Can't wait to see what you bring back. Location sounded very amazing. I wish I was back at HQ. I feel a lot safer with the Pridwin hovering over my head. I 
I'm just gonna hang on the wing. That mini gun in front of you is loaded and ready to fire. If you spot anything hostile during the flight, I suggest you put it to good use. Make sure you properly identify your targets before you start shooting. We don't want to have any mishaps and fire on the locals. The Commonwealth looks different from up here, doesn't it? It never ceases to amaze me how drastically your perception of the battlefield changes from the air. We're gonna need that edge when we take on the Institute. They've already proven that they're technologically superior, which means there's no telling what types of weapons they'll have in their arsenal. Hopefully, our air superiority and tactical know-how will make the difference. Now all we have to do is find them. And I'm betting that Elder Maxon will have a plan already in place by the time we arrive. I wish everyone down there believed in our cause. But they've been blinded by rumors and misinformation. They don't realize that the Brotherhood of Steel is the Commonwealth's last hope for survival. Every man, woman, and child below is in mortal danger. If we fail, it's only a matter of time before the enemy overwhelms the population. Cleansing the Commonwealth is our duty, and I will gladly spill my own blood if it ensures our victory. We're on final approach to the airport. The Pridwin should be coming into view just ahead. We'll be meeting Lancer Captain Kells on the flight deck. Just stick close to me and answer all of his questions. There she is. It's been far too long since I've been aboard. All right, soldier. This is the moment when everything changes. I hope you're ready. Permission to come aboard, sir? Permission granted. And welcome back, Paladin. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted him to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor his entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request and placed the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the Pridwin and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorium, Captain. Ad Victorium, Paladin. So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. And what's a soldier supposed to look like? A soldier is supposed to be an efficient killing machine. Not a relic from the past playing catch-up with the rest of the world. If Dance hadn't stepped in and vouched for you, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. Accepting outsiders like yourself has proven disastrous in the past. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? What exactly is your mission here? I'm not at liberty to say. Elder Maxon will be addressing the crew shortly, and I'm certain all of your questions will be answered. Now, was there anything else, or was everything I said understood? Absolutely. Good. That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address, after which Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. Can you tell me anything about Elder Maxon? Elder Maxon is the Supreme Commander of the Brotherhood. Without his tenacity and his vision, we'd still be a small group of complacent stragglers, occupying the Citadel and the Capital Wasteland. In a mere decade, he's grown the Brotherhood of Steel into a major military force. He's an inspiration to us all. Is there anything else? Where can I get power armor? Only knights are allowed to wear Brotherhood power armor. And you're no knight. Not yet. Until Elder Maxon grants you that title, 
You'll have to make do with what you've got. Anything else? I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, Initiate. Welcome aboard. Elder Maxim is holding his... Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction, and most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose and our mid beneath the Commonwealth. There is a cancer, known as the Institute. A malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb. They call their creation the Synth, a robotic abomination of technology that is free-thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their synths are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly, and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy, itself. Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. I can see that. They're playing with fire and we need to save them. Exactly. I just hope we're here in time. I refuse to allow the mistakes of the past to be repeated. What do you want from me? I want you to start taking responsibility for this planet. To start making a difference. And from what I've read in Paladin Dance's reports, you've already begun that journey. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. Only a knight? Why not a paladin like Dance? The Brotherhood maintains a strict hierarchy, organized by rank. Paladin is several ranks above knight, and it took Dance many years to achieve that goal. With your continued loyalty to the Brotherhood, I'm certain you can attain the same. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. Paladin. There you are. How did it go with Elder Maxon? Maxon seems so young compared to everyone else. You're okay with that? Don't let his age fool you. Maxon's a brilliant tactician, a formidable warrior, and possesses an idealistic vision for the future of the Brotherhood. I'd follow him anywhere, without question. Why are you so confident in his abilities? A decade ago, the Brotherhood had almost gone completely astray. The Elder before Maxon sent us down a path that was leading nowhere. He was more concerned about charity than the preservation of technology. But when Maxon took over, he single-handedly reprioritized the Brotherhood from the ground up and put us back on the path to glory. This ship and its crew are a testament to his leadership. I was very impressed with him. He seems to know what's best for everyone. Exactly. Without his determination, we'd be lost. I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. 
Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. So what's all this about you being my sponsor? Elder Maxon is understandably particular when it comes to new recruits. He believes in order to keep the Brotherhood strong, we have to bond as brothers. As your sponsor, it's my duty to travel with you throughout the Commonwealth to ensure that our ideals are being observed. That's why I'm so concerned about your performance in the field. I won't let you down, Dance. I promise. Good. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Do you need to come with me now? It might help if I tagged along with you. On the other hand, you might want to make your first impression without a paladin standing over your shoulder. It's up to you. Sounds good. Let's go. Outstanding. Now that you've familiarized yourself with the Pridwin's crew, are you ready for your next assignment, brother? What sort of assignment are we talking about? The kind of assignment where all of the training you've done finally begins to pay off. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. It'll be a pleasure to exterminate that mutant filth. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the Earth. Dismissed.
This area seems to be in disarray. I wonder if this is recent. Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. Eh, it was a piece of cake. I'm glad you feel that way. Because it only gets more difficult from here. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, Use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system. 
so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Will the Vertibird stay and help me fight? I'm afraid I can't spare a fully armed gunship for this task. A standard transport will have to suffice. Of course. Nothing stopping you from using the door gun while in flight. Where can I get more signal grenades? I'd use the supply I gave you sparingly. These devices are far more complex than a standard smoke grenade. Should you need more, you should acquire them from Proctor Teagan. The best weapon for survival out here is a pocket full of caps. Signal grenades are usually reserved for our paladins. In your case, you should be grateful that I'm making an exception. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead. Our latest intelligence tells us you've infiltrated the Institute and liberated a valuable holotape from their facility. I'm quite disappointed you chose to build the signal interceptor without the Brotherhood Knight. However, you've secured passage to and from their facility, which was one of our primary goals. So, I'm willing to overlook your lapse in judgment, since you've unexpectedly accelerated our plans. I now have two missions for you to complete. First and foremost, I want you to bring that holotape to Proctor Ingram right away. There could be data vital to the success of our mission on that tape, so we can't afford to take any chances. The second part of your mission requires a bit of... background to explain. About ten years ago, the Brotherhood began recruiting civilian scientists from the Capital Wasteland to assist with various projects. During this process, we were able to obtain the services of Dr. Madison Lee, a noted mind in the field of nuclear engineering. A nuclear engineer? Interesting. Securing useful resources during wartime is critical. That said, Dr. Lee's contributions to our cause were instrumental in maintaining order in the Capital Wasteland. After some time, she developed differences with the Brotherhood and exiled herself to the Commonwealth. We're fairly certain that her intent was to make contact with the Institute. What sort of differences? Although she was working with the Brotherhood of Steel, she never formally joined as a scribe. After the Capital Wasteland was secured, she objected to the Brotherhood's continued military presence there. I think she assumed we would just walk away from it all. She was wrong. Your mission is simple. Once you're inside the Institute, we want you to track down Dr. Lee's whereabouts. If you find out that she's still alive, make contact with her and convince her to return to the Brotherhood of Steel. There's a special project we're working on, and it needs her attention. What's this project that needs her attention? Sorry, that information is classified. I'm sure you understand. Just keep your mind on the mission. And don't let anything they say sway you from your duty. Good luck, Knight. Engine turbines at 87% efficiency. Pinging remote units at 30 second intervals as requested. I came across a holotape with a full scan of the Institute's network. Thanks. You know, it's good to see you're still in one piece. I wasn't sure what the Interceptor would do to you. You didn't expect me to survive the trip? A device like the Signal Interceptor is way out of my league. I was hoping you'd make it, but I find it tough to have faith in technology I don't understand. Speaking of technology I don't understand, I'll get this holotape to Proctor Quinlan. I'm dying to find out what's on it. What do you hope to find on there? Whatever the Institute doesn't want anybody to know. Before we jump to conclusions, let's see what Quinlan scribes can get off of it. I'm sure the Institute has all of their data heavily encrypted, so it's gonna take some time to crack. After that, we'll have to see what we've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. In the meantime, your mission to recruit Dr. Lee still needs to be completed. I believe Elder Maxon gave you all of the details? Good luck, Knight.